So in today's video, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about what we've done or what you can actually do to take SAP Business One version 8.8 .8 and start using business intelligence. And we're going to introduce you to a really, really quick and easy way of doing that. And what is that? Well, one of the new tools that's come from SAP is a tool called Business Intelligence On Demand or BI On Demand. What that allows you to do is take your SAP Business One data, which is sitting on premise, and it allows you to use a new on-demand based business intelligence service from SAP called, funnily enough, BI On Demand, and it sits in the cloud and it allows you to seamlessly integrate data from SAP Business One to BI On Demand. So you can take, uh, if you want to do it simply, you can extract data from SAP Business One into an Excel spreadsheet and you can upload that to BI On Demand or in a future release you'll also be able to utilize web services to have BI On Demand automatically pulling that data from SAP Business One via web services. So let's go ahead and let's have a quick look at a demonstration of exactly how you can do this today. So the first step in the process that I want to demonstrate here is we need to get the data out of SAP Business One. So we're going to look at a quick way of doing this just so we can show you how easy it is to start utilizing the business intelligence capabilities of BI On Demand. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go to my sales, and I'm going to go to my sales reports, and I'm going to look at my sales analysis. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a sales analysis now. We're going to look at um, sales by item. So I click up here on item and I want to do an annual report of invoices with an individual display and no totals. So I'll say OK. Now you can see there's my generated result, my sales analysis by items. So now I'm going to hit to ex export that out to Excel. I'll hit that I want to save that as an XLS file. So I'll say save. I don't want to export my currency symbols at this particular point in time because I'm only working with one currency. So I'll say OK to that. And now my data has been pushed out to Microsoft Excel. So let's just go across and have a look at that data file. So there it is, uh, sales analysis by items. Now when SAP Business One pushes the data out, it just pushes it out as text. So uh, Business Intelligence On Demand likes to make sure it's the, the file format is an Excel spreadsheet file. So I'm just going to quickly open that file and you can see I'm getting a little message here saying that it's a different file format. Do I want to open it? And I'll say yes. So the next thing I want to do is I'm just going to go here and do a file and I'm going to do a save as. And I am going to save that as an Excel file. And this will be my uh, sales analysis by item. So we'll just give it a nice simple name. Now I can, if I want to, I can go ahead and overwrite the existing file. In this case, I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to create a new file. I'll say save. So there we go. My data file is now ready. So the next step is to go across into uh, my BI On Demand site. And you can see it here, bi.ondemand.com. I've already signed up. So now I'm just going to sign in using my credentials. And I'll say sign in. Give that a couple of seconds to log me in. So the next thing I want to do is I want to take that data set that I've created and I want to bring it in. Now you can see I've got um, under my stuff, I've got some other data sets I'm already working with. So I'm going to go up here and say add new, add data set. Then I'm going to browse out to where that data is located. And there it is, sales analysis by item. That's the file I've just created. So I'll choose that and I'll say add data set and BI On Demand automatically pulls that file in. So now you can see it's passing through that file, trying to uh, understand exactly what data is in there. Now once it's done that, it gives me a view of that data. So there it is, yep, that's fine. I can see that that's the data that I wanted to uh, wanted to work with, so I can see that's come across. So now we're starting to, to see the power of business intelligence on demand, because what I can do right now is I can go ahead and I can just click on the button that says Explore. And what BI On Demand does is it automatically starts to make a best guess around what it is that I want to look at. So now I've gone actually into full screen so you can you can get a better understanding of exactly uh, how much there is to work with once you're inside uh, BI On Demand and you're exploring your data. 
So you can see it's automatically tried to determine what it is that I want to analyze. So it's looking at my sales amount, but it's also picked my quantity. But in this case, I want to see sales amount by item description. So we'll give that a couple of seconds. So now that's a little bit more meaningful. You can see across here, I've actually got my items. I've got the sales value and I can go ahead and I can choose to sort that just by clicking here and I'll say from greatest to smallest and that's had a chance to resort. Then what I'm able to do here is I can say, I just want to say, for example, my top five. Now, in this case, I can say maybe I don't actually want to see my other values grouped there together because that's going to distort my, um, my graph a little bit so I can exclude my others. Or I can go back in here and I can say, look, let's look at our top 10 again. And you can see automatically over here on the side, that data is automatically being re-represented for me. So let's say, for example, I wanted to be a little bit more specific. Let's say I wanted to, for example, compare my sales amount with my gross profit. So what I could do is in here, I can also select an additional measure. So I can say, show me the sales amount and my gross profit as a dollar value. And there you can see, there's the sales amount, there's the gross profit automatically shown for me. And let's say I wanna do a comparison. So I'll just click here on the comparison graph and there you can see each one of my products, sales amount and the gross profit shown side by side. What I can then do as well, if I want to, is I can start doing some more work and looking at in, uh, in, in different formats. So let's say I wanted to look at that as uh, a percentage. So I'll go down here and I can click on and say, show me that as pie charts. All right, so now you can see across here on this side, and I'm just gonna scroll down here a little bit. So you can see over here, I've got my sales and then I've got my gross profit. So again, looking at my products over here, you can see automatically this data is mapped out for me and it automatically produces a legend as well. So that's just a quick look at what you can do from the perspective of just quickly pulling data up into BI On Demand and doing some exploration. Now, there's a lot more that you can do depending on the complexity of your data sets. You can create multiple data sets and combine those. But all I wanted to do in this short demo is just give you a quick look at the basics, getting some data out of SAP Business One, bringing it up into BI On Demand. Now, you can go and you can sign up for your own trial account so you can start working with your own data sets, get your own data sets out of SAP Business One, bring them up into BI On Demand and see exactly what's possible. Once you've got the data in there, of course, you can also start taking advantage of some of the collaboration tools in BI On Demand. So you're able to very, very quickly and easily take that data set uh, and invite others to, to view that. So again, all I do is click on share, put in the email addresses of the people that I want, and then they get an invitation to come in and start viewing that data set, and then they can start working with that data set themselves as well. So there you have it. Again, if you'd like more information on SAP Business One, you can find us on the web at www.sap.com slash SME, or you can email me. My name's Richard Duffy, and uh, you can find me at richard.duffy at sap.com. Also, again, I would encourage you, sign up for your own BI On Demand trial account simply by going to bi.ondemand.com. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch today's video.